everyone. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how we can keep our food clean by using STEM. So my name is Marina. I'm going to talk a little bit about me, my career. What is food technology, which is the field that I work with? How is a day at my work and why do I love STEM? So uh, I'm a Brazilian chemical engineer. I am 20 years old and I currently work here in the UK as a technical specialist for pole filtration solutions. Since I was a kid, I always loved science. I have always loved maths. And when I entered high school, I absolutely fell in love with the chemistry. So I decided if I love chemistry so much, why not pursue a career as a chemical engineer? So in Brazil, I went in a public university and the good thing is that public universities in Brazil, in Brazil, they can be for free. So I didn't pay for my education. And in Brazil, I got my chemical engineering degree, which is a five years course. And while I was doing my bachelor, I was able to work in several chemistry and physics laboratories. So I had field trips. I had a lot of fun because I had to do so many calculations, write so many reports. So I really developed my scientific skills. I even wrote an article that is published in a very important paper. But I also developed my people skills. So I know how to deal with people much, much better. And when you are a chemical engineer, you can work in so many different fields. So, for example, I work as a laboratory assistant in liquid-liquid separations, in material science, in green solvents, and medicine delivery systems. So you can do so many different things by working with STEM. And I, I had the opportunity to study abroad in a program called Science Without Borders. It's like an Erasmus uh, internship program but just for the Brazilian government. So I did my master in environmental chemistry in Numeo in Sweden. And it was a very, very fun time as well. So uh, developing my career as a chemical engineer, I decided to do different internships. For example, I work for AB InBev, which is one of the biggest breweries in Brazil. I work in a specific in the beer fermentation place. But I also work as a commercial analyst, also in Brazil. So it was a food raw material supplier company and it was super fun because I was able to see big sacks of cocoa powder of whey protein. For example, sometimes I had to help carrying the 25 kilo sacks of butter. And these, you know, this raw material was used in biscuits, cake, ice cream production. So I've always worked in the food, you know, in the food world, sort of. So when I moved here to the UK, I decided to keep working in the food industry. So currently, as I said, I'm a technical specialist and I work in a company that produces industrial filters for the food, for the food and beverage industry. And here you can see a picture of myself doing coffee filtration. And what exactly is the food technology involved in filters? So every time that you buy something in the supermarket, this product has to have quality and it has to be delicious and the food will not make you sick. So Every company that produces food has to pay attention to the food quality. And the filtration in specific works to remove particles and to remove contaminants. So imagine when you're at home and you're using a sieve to remove the beads from an orange juice. You're doing a filtration. Or if you're doing apple juice and it's looking cloudy, but you prefer a bright apple juice and then you filter it. So all of these processes are filter process, but we have to do this in a big industrial unit as well, because you have to buy the, the final product in the supermarket. So sieves are filters, 
water coolers or filters, and even your face mask to prevent the coronavirus from entering your organism is a filter as well. So basically, filtration is a physical process that uh, produces you know, a clear product, a bright product that has a better taste, a better quality, a better color, or a better texture. So the big challenge is to produce this in an industry scale. Because imagine that you have to produce 20,000 liters of orange juice per day. So you have to hire engineers to help you overcome the challenges that you find in your filter company, in your industrial unit. And it's very important to filter water, to filter juice, to filter all sorts of liquids to produce a product that is going to be safe for consumption. So you know when you eat something and this food causes you food poisoning? For food poisoning is usually caused by any microorganisms like Legionella in water. So you have to filter your water, for example, your bottle water to remove the Legionella and then you're not going to have food poisoning. But filters also remove viruses and also remove parasites. And you probably, if you saw a box of milk, you already saw that it said that ah, your milk was pasteurized. So the pasteurization is a process that happens in the industry where you very quickly heat it up and you very quickly cool down. And this kills the majority of microorganisms that would cause any sickness. However, since you have to heat it up and you have to cool down, this costs a lot of energy and it's not easy to maintain. So it's not considered an environmental friendly process. So nowadays, instead of pasteurize, what you do is you're filtering, use plastic cartridges. So you don't need heat to, to process your product. You can increase shelf life of your product. It's much safer and easier to use. And in the end, what Paul does is protect what matters, which is your food. So here is a case, for example, that bottle water is something that we really need to make it safe. So I'm going to talk a little bit about a day at my work now. So here you can see me filtering a ginger liquor. So as a technical specialist, I use STEM to provide a technical solution. So I have to use a lot of maths, a lot of science. I have to understand a little bit of technology to provide scientific support to my customers. And I use my engineering knowledge that I acquired in my bachelor years as a chemical engineer student to understand the challenges and to deliver innovative solutions with, with efficiency and sustainability. And to show a little bit about my work, what I can say is that usually I work from nine to five and I can do two types of job. The first one is to come down to the lab, which is where I am right now. And I can perform some tests called the filterability test to ensure to my customer, which is the best filter that he can use in his production site. So I have to come down to the lab, receive a sample, and then analyze it. And after I assess what is the best filter to my customer to use, I will go to their production site and I will perform any feasibility, installation, problem solving. But first things first, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I have to do before I enter my lab. I'm the laboratory uh, steward. So before I start working, I have to manage it. First thing in the morning I do, I look at the management board, which is this one. And I have to check if the laboratory, if it's safe, if it's clean, and if there is the correct inventory. So we use this system called Kamishibai cards, which are different cards with colors and whatever is wrong for example the drawers are not organized we mark in red so we can address 
all these issues. And for example, if there is any issues, we write in the countermeasure board. And only after I address all of these issues, I can start working. I have these uh, personal protective equipment required. So I have my safety goggles now because of COVID times. I have to wear a face mask, a lab coat, and I can show you here that I'm also wearing my safety shoes. And to perform any tests, since I work with chemicals, I have to wear nitrile gloves. So today, what we're going to do is we are going to try and remove char from a whiskey sample. And char is nothing else than coal that can be found inside the barrels where whiskey is maturated. And in an industrial scale, we can use two types of filter to remove the barrel char from a whiskey. We can use a stainless steel basket, such as this one, and we can use a polypropylene cartridge, such as this one, and you have to put inside a stainless steel housing to protect from the environment. These products are in an industrial scale, so for a lab, what we do is we use a pump to push the whiskey through a disc holder and inside the disc holder, what we put is we put the same media are the discs that we just pick it up one. And this is the same plastic media that exists inside this cartridge. So we pick one we put inside the disc holder, we filter, and we collect the clean sample after. And we would collect the speed of the pump, the volume of whiskey filtered, and with the timer, we can actually assess what is the time of filtration. So using the volume of the whiskey filtered and the time of filtration, I can assess the flow rate and I, I can assess throughput. I can tell my customer then which type of filter is going to be best for his uh, industrial production. And of course, since I work in the lab, I can do all sorts of analysis with my samples. So when I filtered the whiskey, I can pick it up the membrane and I can put it in a microscope and do any electronic spectroscopy analysis, for example, to see if the nature of my contaminant is organic or inorganic. Uh, one of these filters will give me a better particle removal, will give me a better flow rate, which is the volume per time, will give me a better throughput, which is the better particle removal with the smallest time possible, and also without no blockage or stopping in the flow of the whiskey. So after I assess which is the best filter, the stainless steel or the plastic one, I will write a report to my customer with my recommendations, telling him which is the best filter, what is the size of this filter, how many filters does he have to use to filter a certain volume. For example, for a 20,000 liters batch of whiskey, he may use two cartridges only. And after writing the report and after the customer accepting the recommendations, I prepare to go to the customer site. After I do the filterability test in the lab, I travel to the production site where I'm going to install the filters and I have to handle a lot of equipment, for example, pumps. And it's the same type of pump that you have in your aquarium, for example, to pump oxygen into the water for your fish to survive. 
I deal with a lot of poses, with a lot of feeling machines. And the good thing is, as a woman, even though I'm not that strong, I'm perfectly, you know, I'm perfectly capable of handling everything. So I have to use my bare hands to be in the production side and to change filters and to move things around. So it's very fun. And being a woman does not prevent me from doing anything. And at the production side, I will evaluate any issues that may appear. For example, if the filter is blocked too quickly because we are putting a lot of orange beads in the juice, or if the whole production stopped. For example, imagine that your mom is cooking and there is no gas in the stove. How we're we gonna solve this very quickly to prevent you from not having something to eat in a dinner. So this is the same that we do in an industry. So we have to do, you know, to, to find the solutions to prevent the whole production to stop, although the customer is gonna lose a lot of money. And perhaps trying to understand and solve why the machines are not working. And for all of that, I have to use STEM to fix the problems. And why do I love STEM? So first of all, I have to travel to the customer sites, right? So I travel all around UK. I've been from London to Belfast to Edinburgh, even to Inverness in Cardiff, and the best things that I drive myself. So my work allowed me to know so much more about the country that I live in and to know so many different people. So it's very interesting to work as an engineer. And my work never gets boring. Every single day I do something completely different. So I already filtered beer, I already filtered juice, I already filtered gelatin, yogurt, even whiskey, bottled water. So by being an engineer and working with STEM allows me to discover new things every day and to do different things every day. So if you love science, if you love maths, if you love being an inventor, a scientist, give STEM a try. Thank you very much.